So, um, I'm just realizing how little pages I have for, um, space to actually make my traditional Thursday art, but I think we'll be fine. We'll be just fine. Everything's gonna be okay. Hello fellow spellcasters, I am back for another traditional Thursday and ooh, I really love this stop motion you feel that speeding up the video makes this um, overall product kind of look like. Or maybe that's just because the video hasn't rendered properly or something, I'm not sure. I really hope it stays that way because <laughs> I really like it, but mm, that's besides the point. Anyways, um, welcome back to another traditional Thursday. I thought of doing something a little bit different this time. Um, pardon my hand getting in the way sometimes. Um, I haven't filmed myself drawing in, uh, tra traditionally in a while. So that's why some things may look a little weird in frames, specifically where my hand is just like, haha camera no you will not be able to see what's happening so i decided to uh, make some fan art of hajime hinata from uh don Genrompa 2 and as you may notice i'm gonna draw hajime a bit differently well not a bit R really differently <laughs> actually uh, for a myriad of reasons the first thing that I changed, uh, you will get to see this later, was um, his skin color. And the main reason for that part of his redesign was just, mm, it was just because, and honestly also because there's a lack of dark skinned and black characters in Danganronpa in general. So I felt like I wanted to um, give a little redesign to one of the characters. So um, it just so happened to be Hajime, so that's why I ended up drawing him with a uh, darker skin than, well, he hasn't game. And another uh, thing that really influenced this drawing and like this pseudo redesign of Hajime was a headcanon that I have um, that gives me comfort. <laughs> I know this isn't canon, but I like to head canon um, Hajime as being a pre-testosterone um, trans male. Well, mainly because it gives me something to identify with since I myself am a pre-testosterone uh, transgender male. So, yeah, and to kind of incorporate this into the art piece that I made, I actually uh, looked up some uh, swimsuits like for trans guys because I knew I saw something somewhere of like a specific type of swimsuit, but I couldn't exactly remember what it was. And even now, I still can't exactly remember. I think it was like um, a compression swimsuit or like a swim binder or something. Whatever, I basically drew that. <laughs> it was a lot of fun to draw, actually. Um, and I think that the pose that I drew especially made it uh, easier and, well, more fun for me. Mainly because of, like, I guess perspective and whatnot. I don't quite know how to explain it. But yeah, overall, it was just fun all around. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> originally I was also thinking of coloring in Hajime's uh, swimsuit to be like a red color. But then uh, upon looking at a reference photo, I realized it wouldn't really make sense considering uh, that the other swimsuits that the students uh, wore in 
Donkey Rumpa too during that one swimsuit scene towards the beginning of the game. Uh, all the swimsuits that they wore were colored black, and, and I kind of wanted to stick to that theme, so I ended up adding, a, like, a black color to Hajime's swimsuit. I mean, technically, it's not a color, though. It's a shade. But, uh, yeah. But do you know what is a color? Gray. That's right. I used gray for the highlights. Um... I have mixed feelings about the highlights, but they look kind of cool. I, I do say so myself. <laughs> I mean, even though the highlights may not look the best, uh, considering that, well, they could have worked a little bit more on choosing a less bright shade. Oh, sorry. Actually, yes, it would be. A less bright shade of gray for the highlights. Um, they turn out pretty good, in my opinion. So I know I promised before that I would show the finished product of the Hajime drawing with all of you. And I'm sticking true to that. So yeah, this is the finished product of the drawing of Hajime Hinata. And yeah, I don't have anything else to say. <laughs> uh, this is Witchy Who signing off. And uh, before I sign off for realsies, you may notice that I used a different signature. That's because this is a piece of fan art, meaning that I'm using um, the signature for my second Instagram account rather than my main. So yeah, that's all I wanted to say.